say. Now nail clipping of bunnies, you have to have a couple of tools. You have to have a really good helper, which is mine to help us do today. Because <laughs> rabbits are very fragile, so if you hold them wrong, you can break their bones very easily. Now, we like to wrap them because they feel secure. Our handsome man here has relaxed since we've wrapped for him. Now, rabbits like to dig, and if they're not in an area, if they're just in their cages and they're not getting a lot of chance to dig, they don't tend to wear their little nails down. So they have a dew claw just like dogs have a dew claw, and they also have four nails on their feet. Now, if you look very closely at this nail, you can see where the red bit ends. Now, I'm not going to cut them that short. I wouldn't like to cut them that short. I would just like to take the very tips off them. So I'll use the big clippers and we'll get it over and done with. So I always start from the outside nail. Hold the actual nail itself very tightly so that the foot doesn't move around. And just clip the ends off. You are a very good boy. What a perfect patient you are. Now he's not making a fuss because he's such an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can be lucky. Okay, we'll just do the same on this foot. I always start from the outside, gives me an idea of what I'm doing. Hold each toe. And I move the hair back. If I can't see, I move the hair back so I can see how much I'm taking off. Where's, where's your dewy gun? That's mine. Oh, it's a long one. So once again, I would move the hair so I can just see how long it is. Okay. The other thing with rabbits that need checking constantly is their teeth. So you do need a vet to do this. And you really should just look in their mouth to make sure that their teeth... Oh, you don't want me to show your teeth. Come on, show you. Oh, he's going to hide them. He <laughs> says, look at my manicure rather than my teeth. Anyway, we'll do teeth another time. See, he was so good for his manicure. Now, he does have four feet, so we also have to do the back feet. So I'll get Sue to spin him around. And we'll uncover his little back legs. Now, these are very powerful. Back feet are extraordinarily powerful on rabbits because they use them, they kick and dig. And we'll just take the tips off once again. Oh, you are such a good boy. Very nice. We'll find that other last leg. And it is just take your time with them. They're little animals and they're easily frightened. And you should get your rabbit used to handling from a young age. So he's a perfect boy. He's been handled a lot. And he's, it shows because he's very easy to do this too. And this also helps if you've got little small children who want to nurse them. They don't get kicked and scratched. But that's how you do it. And he won't show us his Colgate smile today. He's actually got lovely teeth. Show your lovely face so everybody can see how handsome you are. There you go. 